We're kicking off week 10 of KHL regular season tonight with 7 games. My name is Andrea Sashenko and you're watching the KHL Update. Our first stop is in Oms, Avangar holds Esky is St. Petersburg. This should be hot. Midway through the first, Ilya Kovalchuk carries the puck down the left side, pass it to Yarnikoski on a neat play to Joachim Lindstrom, stopped by Dominic Ford. And then Yuri Petrov gloves it to the side. A few moments later, Dinarhe Fizulin sets up Yarnikoski on at the point, and he hammers it home for his sixth of the season. It goes in with a deflection, 1-0 SKA. Second period now, Alexander Barabanov with a nice little move to get by his defenseman, but Dominic Ford says no. Fork is keeping Avangard alive. Still 1-0 SKA after 40. Moving on to the third and Vladimir Sabatka ties it up. Martin Ira draws his second assist of the season. Sabatka has his 11 setting his new KHL high and it's a 1-1 hockey game. But then SKA explodes with three goals in four minutes. First, Vadim Shipachev centers it for Yegor Yakovlev, his stop, but Yevgeny Dodonov scores on a broken play. 2-1 SKA and their coaching staff is really excited about it. Less than a minute later, SKA scores on a power play. Shipachev to Dodonov, further on to Andrei Kotekin, and he has his second of the year to make it 3-1 SKA. Great play by Dodonov, we might want to check him for having eyes in the back of his head. Later, 4-4 four four hockey, Joachim Lindstrom blocks a shot on his defensive end, gives it to Ilya Kovalchuk, they storm down the ice, Kovalchuk sets him up down low, and Lindstrom does not miss. Joachim Lindstrom wears the dagger, and SKA go on to win this one 4-1 on the road. Head over to Magnitogors now, where Metalik held some more. With just a couple of minutes into the first, the Magnitka scored a 5 on 3 power play, and who else but Sergei Mazakin. That's his 18th of the season, and he continues to top the can goals. 1 0 Magnitka. A few minutes later, Magnitka are still on the same power play, and they score again. Sergei Tereshenko puts the puck on there from the point, and Oscar Asala tips it in. Asala is created with his fifth of the year, and it's 2 0 home team. Still on the first, and we get to see some magic from Tomasz Zagorna. He picks up the puck in his own end on a power play, skates through the neutral zone, he's in at a breakaway, spin a and he's denied by Ilya Samsonov. Washington Capitals first round pick makes a great bad save to keep his shutout hopes going. We skip ahead to the third period, and Magnitka secures the win. 2012 World Junior Silver Medalist and a Florida Panthers prospect, Yaroslav Kosov scores his first of the year, and that's gonna do it. 18 year old Ilya Samsonov stops 30 shots for his first career KHL shutout, and Magnitka win this one 3 0. And now to Ufa, where Konstantin Makarov meets his brother Dmitry Makarov as Admiral visits Salavati Live. And well, they score goals. Less than five minutes into the game, Dmitry Sajistov lets a rip from the right circle on a power play, and the puck goes in. They didn't stop the play essentially, but they did count it after a video review. 1 0 Admiral. Salavat answer a few minutes later, just as they killed off another penalty. Dmitry Makarov finishes off a quick counter attack to get his seventh of the season. What a play, beauty! Just over a minute later, Admiral gets the lead back. Jonathan Bloom with a howzer from the point to make it 2-1 Admiral. And just 25 seconds later, they improve it to 3-1. Alexander Kuznetsov ice Konstantin Makarov from the far post, and they connect. Dmitry scored for Salavat, and Konstantin scored for Admiral. The competition of two brothers continues as Admiral lead by two now. Salavat get a goal back before the first intermission. Nikolai Prohorkin skates to the slot, he doesn't score, but Alexander Nesterov gets it to go on a rebound. Good hard-working goal by Salavat, 3-2 after 20 minutes of play. Early in the second, Dmitry Makarov gets on a breakaway and there's nothing Ivan Nalimov can do to stop him. Dmitry Makarov scores his second of the night and eighth of the season. We tied at three. Not gonna last long. 23 seconds later, Admiral win a face up in the offensive end, and Jonathan Bloom says, You know what? I like the first one so much, I'm gonna go for another clapper. Bloom nets his second of the night as well, and Admiral are back in the lead 4 3. Five minutes later, Admiral improved their lead to two goals again. Captain Oscar Sportula scores his fifth of the year to make it 5 3. 
Martulis had six career KHL goals before he joined Admiral, and now he has five in this season alone. Salah and Arsenal land in the period with a power play goal of their own. Alexander Logan of scores his fifth of the year as well, and it's a one-goal hockey game again. I think my head has been a little bit from all this scoring. Third period now, Dmitry Kosmachov gets a game misconduct for checking to the head, and Armel have to play shorthanded for five minutes. Salava don't let them get away with that. Lena Sumrak has his ninth of the year to bring it all back to even again. 5-5. And this is how it ends. Nicholas Weberg leaves the net to clear the puck from the zone, whiffs on it, and Alexander Gorshkov scores the game-winning goal. Hard fourth game ends with a rather soft goal out by Salava. Oh boy. Admiral win this one 6-5, ending Salava's six-game winning streak. Astana, Kazakhstan, that's the side of our next game. Paris hosts Bardak Moscow. And the fans were treated to a good thriller in this one. 55 seconds in, Konstantin Pushkarov has an option to pass it, but he goes for a shot instead and scores. 1-0 home team. We skip ahead to the second period and Spartak tie it up. Alexander Mirazkin to Lukas Radl to wide open Konstantin Glazichev and he does what he must. Scores a nice goal and says thank you to his linemates. 1-1. One, one. one minute later, Spartak on a power play. Radl has the puck again. He's selling shot. Everyone buys it, but it goes for a pass again and Gleb Klemenka puts Spartak in the lead. Two excellent plays by Lukas Radl in one minute and Spartak lead 2-1. And just 35 seconds later, the red and white make it 3-1. Casey Wellman feeds Evgeny Botra for a shot. Jan Lazzo makes a save, but Wellman buries the rebound. Spartak scored three goals in less than two minutes to establish a firm lead. And that's when the comeback story begins. Four minutes later, Boris with a man advantage. Mike Landin fakes his shot, skates to his left, has a go, and he puts a top shelf short side. 3-2 after two periods of play. Early in the last frame, Boris tied it up. Kevin Dahmer takes several shots from in tight and finally gets it to go on one of his rebounds. 3-3 and this one is going to overtime. Boris gets the upper hand on this one as Konstantin Pushkarov sets up Slava Tresunov on the slot for his first career KHL goal. And it's an overtime winner, the one he's gonna remember forever. Boris taking 4-3 in overtime. We're in Moscow now, where Red Army face Severstal, looking to get their revenge for the loss in Cherif Vets earlier this month. And revenge they get! Two and a half minutes in, Roman Lubimov slam dunks it in from the slot to open up the scoring. one nothing Red Army. After the period, home team on a power play, Jeff Black steals the puck, feeds Alexander Radulov in front, and he buries it for his ninth of the year. Power play goal by Radulov, and it's 2 nothing. Midway through the second period now, and Severstal get a goal back. Gitschuk Karliski sets up Ilya Koklov for a point shot. Look out! Koklov almost drives it through the net. He scores in his second consecutive game, and it's 2-1. But that only angers with Army. Less than two minutes later, Alexander Radilov puts the puck on net from the point, and Jeff Platt tips it in for another powerful marker. 3-1 with Army now. 37 seconds later, 18-year-old Vadim Kudako picks up his first career KHL point. Well, not really. He just scores on his own net in a very weird fashion. Third period now, and the beating continues. Nikita Koltanov nuts his first of the season as he bats it from mid-air. Well, what did you expect? The kid is from Boston. Baseball's in his blood. 5-1 with Army. Less than two minutes after that, Jeff Black again lays a beam of a shot, and he scores his second of the night and 15th of the year. 6-1 with Army. Had enough? Not quite. By the looking and Maxim Mamin dropped the gloves. No real surprise there. Nobody likes to lose by this margin. Mamin gets a few good hands in before the linesmen break him up. Alexander Radulov scores a little later, another one on a power play to get his second of the night, and that sets the final score at 7 1 Red Army. Severstal must hate coming to this rank. Tonight they lost 7 1, the game before that they lost 9 1, and the game before that won 8 2. Anybody knows a good psychic? They could use one. We're in Minsk, Belarus now, where Dynamo miss out Slava and Bratislava. After the opening frame, Dynamo score a beaut. Alexander Matiruhin feeds Paul Shifur down low. He's not gonna shoot and he's gonna feed Nick Bailin instead. And he finishes it off. Great goal, 1-0 Dynamo. 
Less than four minutes later, Michal Sersen skates to the high slot, fakes a shot, skates to the left circle, and then sends it in with a blast. Amazing marker by Sersen, who scores his second of the year. 1 1. Second period now with just 15 seconds in, and Dynamo get their lead back. Ryan Vesic connects with Nick Bellin on the far post, and that's his eighth of the year. 2 1 home team. Four minutes after that, Slovan get a man advantage and they convert. Kim Barker sends it in from the point. Barker has been quite productive offensively this season on Slovan. Just past the halfway mark of the period, Rock Teacher puts Slovan in the lead as he tucks it in from the doorstep. Look at all that room he's got down there. 3 2 Slovan. Dynamo find an answer in the final frame. Former Tri City American of the WHL, Sergey Dross fakes his shot, then feeds Milashko down low, and he sends this one to his shootout. And it's Jiga Jaglic who gets to be the hero. He scores his first career KHL shootout winner, and Slovan takes the extra point. 4 3 Slovan shootout is your final. And just one more score to tell you about. C. Beer scored twice in the third period, and beat Kuzni on the road 2 1. Victor Bobrov netted the winner with less than two minutes to go in regulation. And that's it for your Dalek HL update. This Tuesday we'll be back with four more games. My name is Andreas Sashinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.